honey locust, Gladitzia triacanthus. This is the real tree, the real wild one. Usually we see honey locusts in lawns and parks and stuff like that, and it's uh, totally thornless and doesn't make pods. But this is the wild version of, of the tree where the species comes from. And there's pods, there's pods all over the ground here. Lots of pods in the tree. And the reason it's called honey locust is because all of those pods, they're, uh, they're a legume, and those pods have like a, uh, what is it? It's like a sweet pulp that's in between the seeds. And uh, wildlife loves them. Deer will eat them. Uh, they've, they've traditionally been used for livestock a lot. People will plant these for livestock, and uh, sheep and cows uh, will eat them, goats, stuff like that, pigs. Just a really, really high protein, nutritious food source. The honey locust. People often think because it has the word locust that it's related to black locust somehow, but it's not. Black locust is Rabinia pseudoacacia. Totally different genus. This is Gladitzia triacanthus. There's lots of different uh, Gladitzias. Um, this is the one that we find in eastern North America. And the wood on this is incredible. It's not as rot resistant as black locust by any means. But it's much harder than almost any wood that uh, I've ever worked with. That's the inside of the pod that uh, my son is showing there. Look till his car goes by. You can see the, that sweet pulp in there. You can, you can eat it. It's definitely edible and uh, pretty tasty. And uh, so I was saying about the wood, it's, it's not rot resistant, but it's extremely hard and extremely dense. It's probably the heaviest wood that I've ever handled. The firewood burns like rocket fuel. It's a pink in color. It's a, it's a pink wood. It's very beautiful. I don't know why it's not used more. Maybe because nobody wants to deal with these incredible thorns, right? Like that is true thorns. Just to give you an idea of how big these thorns are, I'll, I'll put my, I'll put my hand here. You know, like these are enough to impale somebody, like for real. And I don't know why a tree would develop such aggressive thorns. Uh, maybe to keep sloths out of the trees or something from, like back in ancient ice age times. But, uh, but that's the honey locust, a wonderful tree for wildlife, producing a huge mass crop with all these pods, and just a really beautiful tree, I think. But uh, you could make living fences out of this, especially if you coppiced it, right? Like, I don't think anything's going to push its way through there. Thanks for watching.